Myth number five, amputation is always necessary for bone cancer treatment. For many years, this was true. The words bone cancer were synonymous with amputation, and they conjured images of life-altering surgeries. However, this perception is completely outdated today. Thanks to significant advancements in surgical techniques and medical technology, amputation isn't a common treatment for bone cancer now. The fact is, the opposite is true. Limb sparing surgery is now the standard approach with up to 90% of patients successfully avoiding amputation in these limb sparing procedures. What happens is surgeons are able to meticulously remove the tumor and only the tumor while preserving the affected limb. After the tumor is removed, there are bone grafts either from another part of your body or from a donor that are put in place or an advanced prosthetic. If, if too much is taken, they'll put in a metal joint or something like that, just like with a joint replacement. So amputation is really now considered to be a last resort and it's necessary only in certain advanced cases where the tumor has extensively involved critical structures like major blood vessels or nerves, which make it impossible to preserve the limb down from there. These modern treatment options not only save limbs, but they offer patients a much better quality of life. In many cases, they're fairly minimally invasive considering what is being done. This means that many young patients who are often affected by these aggressive bone cancers, they can continue to go to school, they can play sports, and they can participate in everyday activities during and after their treatment, and that helps them maintain a sense of normalcy.